Good day, guys. Today we're going to be working on this question. Given that y equals to the sine of square root of 5x cubed minus 3x, what is the derivative? Aside from knowing our basic rules of differentiating sine of x, square root of x, and x to the power of n in general, we also need to learn how to use something called the chain rule. So today on MathBase, we'll be breaking down this question into these components and then combining it back together using the chain rule. But I'll only be using the shortcut version of this today. So if you guys want to know what the full method is like, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, let's get started. First up, we need to differentiate y equals to sine of x. This is pretty straightforward. The derivative or dy on dx for this is going to be cos x. If you're having trouble remembering how this works or what it differentiates to, just think about the unit circle. But given that cos x is on the right and the negative cos x is on the left, sine x would be on top, negative sine x on the bottom. If you were to differentiate sine of x, it would become cos of x. So it's as if you're rotating backwards along the unit circle. Naturally, if you differentiate a cos of x, you would get negative sine of x. The opposite is also true. So if you were to integrate, you would go in the forward direction of rotation. So the derivative of sine x is cos x, and the derivative of cos x is negative sine x. Integral of sine x is negative cos x, as you can see from rotating forwards. Integral of cos x would be sine x. So that's the derivative of sine x. We will need that later. The next one is y equals to square root of x. This is basically just x to the power of 1 and 2. So you can use your power rule for this. dy on dx would be half of x to the power of negative half, because you're going to minus 1 there. And so we get this, which basically simplifies to 1 over 2 root x. Now I would recommend memorizing the derivative for x to for square root of x, simply because you will see this a lot in the exams, and it does come out a lot in your textbook homework as well. And the last component to this is y equals to 5x cubed minus 3x. This one's pretty straightforward. The derivative for any x to the power of n will just be n times x to the power of n minus 1, when you differentiate it, just like we did with this question over here. And so dy on dx for this last component would be 15x squared minus 3. So in the next section, we're going to take these three derivatives and combine them together in a special way using the chain rule. The chain rule is a special type of differentiation that you would do when you have a composite function, or in other words, when you have a function inside another function. So for example, if y equals to the sine of square root of x, there is a square root function inside the sine function. Normally a sine function would simply be sine of x, but because it's not just x, but now it's been replaced for the square root of x, there's something special going on in there. And so for the derivative, in terms of a shortcut format, we're going to just set up two brackets here, one representing the outer derivative and the second bracket representing the inner derivative. Since there are only two functions here, you only set up two brackets. If there were three functions, then you set up three. So the outer derivative of sine would be cos, but it's, it's sine of something, right? And even in the case of where you have sine of x, the x simply represents anything. So sine of whatever is in here now becomes cos of whatever, cos of square root of x. But because the something is not just x, but it's a function all on its own, a square root function, you have to differentiate that in the second bracket. So as we've seen from the previous section, we know that the square root of x will differentiate to 1 over 2 root x. And then you can simplify that as cos root x over 2 root x. But we are trying to differentiate y equals to sine of the square root of 5x cubed minus 3x. So what we have is a cubic function inside a square root function inside a sine function. And because they are just one layer inside another inside another, what we can do is just work our way in from the outside, differentiating it one at a time. So the dy on dx of this will have three brackets, the first dealing with the sine. So that's going to be cos of whatever is inside sine. In this case, that's just going to be square root of 5x cubed minus 3x. And then the next step is to deal with the square root. 
So the square root is going to become 1 over 2 root of the inside of that. So that's going to be still 5x cubed minus 3x. And finally, you deal with the inside, the cubic. That's going to be 15x squared minus 3. And then you can rearrange it to make it look a bit neater. So keep in mind, this is basically the differentiation step, while this is just a simplification. Whenever you need to use the chain rule, always pay attention to what's outside, what's inside, and how many layers there are. And here's a few more examples involving the chain rule. Okay, so with all of these questions that I just did, it was the same thing. You have the outside differentiated first, copying the inside in, and then you have the inside being brought over to the next one as an inner derivative. And this is the same pattern you can see throughout all of them. I would pay special attention to these because there are some formulas out there that provide a shortcut for where you can just bring the 5 out to the front, for example. But keep in mind that it's actually a chain rule where the 5 is being differentiated and that's why it's here. And this is the same for all of them. In this case, it's an x squared, and so you would end up with a 10x. You're not just bringing a 5 out to the front. So I hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, please leave a like for the video and share it with your friends. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if you would like to see more stuff on this. You can join the channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and ring the bell to get notified when the next video comes out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.